Hi guys, today we will bring you Spanish Civil War by Nemo, Paul, and Marion. Everyone knows Spain, but not everyone has heard about Spanish Civil War. It was started from July 17, 1936 and ended on April 1, 1939, just before the Second World War. If we really want to talk about Spanish Civil War, we have to know about some background information. Spain was once the world's most powerful country, but at the beginning of the 20th century, it was a poor and backward country where corruption was rife. However, monarchies were conservative and Catholics did not want to reform Spain. Those who wanted a republic were anti-clerical and hoped to reform Spanish society. Thus, the whole Spain was in a messy and disordered political environment. Three parties including left, right, and monarchy were intensely competing for the right to control the Spain. Additionally, the conflict between traditional elites who were the Catholic Church, landowners, rich merchants, and the working class who were workers, peasants, was becoming more and more severe. Every war starts with a difference of perspective and ideology. So does the Spanish Civil War. Under the messy political situation, they formed into two main different ideologies, which were represented by the left wing and the right wing, respectively. The left is also called Popular Front or Republicans. Their ideology was mainly about socialism. The right is also called the Nationalists. Their ideology was mainly about fascism. The left had help from the Soviet Union and the right had help from the Nazi Germany and fascist Italians. More specifically, the left's perspective and ideology were to destroy the traditional elites and middle classes in Spain. They wanted to build a republic controlled by a majority who were the workers of or peasants. The right's perspective and ideology was to get rid of left government and install a right government. Now, let's go on with the plot of this war. Spanish Civil War's plot is pretty complicated. But don't worry, we made it clear for you. The exposition of the war was that left won the election due to the support from the workers and peasants who were the majority of the citizens. And they took the control in Republic in February 1936. After the left won, they did some changes to the country. They reduced the privilege of religion which made the Catholic Church feel unrest. They also cut down the soldiers in armies and military schools, which caused the stress in military. In addition, they also changed the land ownerships, which meant the lands were no longer personal properties, but belonged to the country. And this really raged the landowners. Under such social unrest, in order to show their disobedience, the right wing assassinated Josie Castillo, who was a lieutenant in the left, on July 12, 1936. One day after, the left paid back. They assassinated Jose Calvo Sotelo, who was a right politician, and those caused the rebellion burst out from the right. <laughs> Franco, who was in, in right, led a coup in 17th of July 1936. The war lasted for more than two and a half years. 
Hundreds of thousands of people died in the war. Since the right had so much support from German Nazi and Italian fascists, they eventually won the war. The right overthrown the left government and established a government dictated by General Franco until death in the 1970s. So, in the view of the right, they reached a successful revolution. At that time, TV was not popular yet, and there were not so many social medias like we have today, like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and so on. But people still used the newspaper, radio, book, movie, leaflet, or flyers to expose the things that are going on and the effects of the war to the world. An example of the media covering this war was the film called The Spanish Earth, which premiered in 1937. And another example was George Orwell's book called Homage to Catalonia, which described his experience and observation in this war. Here comes our essential question. Did the Spanish Civil War influence the citizens for the better? The answer is no. No revolutions should necessarily influence people for the better. In general concept, a rebellion is usually raised by the majority of citizens, and that's why a successful revolution usually brings good changes to the citizens. But it was not like this in the Spanish Civil War, because the rebellion was not raised by the majority of the citizens. So it is difficult to frame the Spanish Civil War within the conventional plot of revolution. The facts are, after the Spanish Civil War, Spain was under fascist dictatorship of Francisco Franco until his death. And also 500,000 to 1 million people were killed. Many of these deaths, however, were results not of military fighting, but were the outcome of brutal mass executions. Many Spanish intellectuals and artists were either killed or forced into exile. The Spanish economy collapsed. It needed decades to recover. Spanish Civil War was one of the bloodiest wars in human history. People learn lessons from these sad experiences. Let's wish long live the peace. Thank you for listening and watching.